All right then, so time for another project challenge. And this time it's gonna be a little bit more tricky, but only because you'll have to think a little bit more about how to solve it. So right now we're able to select cards by clicking on them. And when we do that, it's either gonna store that card in choice one or choice two. But then what we need to do once we have two choices selected is compare those two cards, those two choices to see if they match. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to fire some code when both choices have been made to evaluate those choices and to see if they match. And to compare them, you can use their source property because matching cards are gonna have the same source path. But you only need to perform this evaluation if we have a value for both choice one and choice two. Now, if the cards match, I want you to log that message to the console. If the cards don't match, I want you to log that message to the console. Then finally, once you've made the evaluation and compared the two cards, I want you to fire a function which is gonna do two things. First, it's gonna reset the choices back to null so that we can select two new cards again. And second, it's gonna add one to the current turns value since the user has now taken a turn. Now, I've already created this function right here called reset turn. This is the one that I want you to fire after you've done the card choice comparison and you need to invoke this regardless of whether the cards match or not. Now, I wanna give you a quick hint about how to solve this challenge. You can't perform the evaluation of the two selected cards inside this handle choice function because the state updates are scheduled, remember? They don't happen instantly. So if you perform a check directly after this code right here to see if both choices have a value and then to compare them, then it won't work because that check will fire before the state update actually happens. So you need to think about how you're gonna perform this check only once the two choices have a value. So think about what we've been learning a lot in the last chapter and maybe how you could use some of that knowledge to help you in this situation. So pause the video, spend a bit of time thinking about this and play around with it for a little while. And then when you wanna see my solution, just hit play again. All right then, so hopefully you had a good go at that. Maybe you completed it, maybe you didn't, but don't worry if you didn't. So the way I'm gonna do this is by using the use effect hook, because like I said, if we compare the cards right here, then it probably won't work because these state updates are scheduled. And if we fire code to compare them directly after to check if we have values for both card one and card two, then it probably won't work because that's gonna fire first before it even updates the state. So we don't do it right here. Instead, we're gonna use use effect and you'll see how this is gonna work in a second. So compare two selected cards, that's what we're gonna do. And we need to use the use effect hook in order to do this. And we need to spell it correctly as well. Use effect, good gracious, use effect. There we go. Click on this to auto import it at the top like this. All right, so inside use effect, remember, we pass in a function, like so. And we also pass in a dependency array as the second argument. Now, you'll remember that use effect is going to fire when the component first mounts once automatically, and then it will fire the function again whenever a dependency changes. So what I'm gonna do is pass in here as dependencies, card one and card two. Is that what they're called? Oh no, they're called choice one and choice two. My mistake. So let's change this to choice one and choice two, okay? So now it's going to fire this function once to begin with, but also once we select a card, if we update choice one right here, then it's gonna fire this function again. If we update choice two, then it's gonna fire this function again, all right? So it's inside here we can do the comparison now. Now, the first thing I wanna do is check inside this function, look, do we have a value for both choice one and choice two? So let's do that. If choice one and choice two, then we're gonna fire some code. Now, the reason we have to do this is because remember, this is gonna fire initially when the component first mounts, and we don't want to do any kind of comparison then between the cards, and it's also gonna fire when we update choice one, and we might not have a value for choice two then, so if that's the case, we don't wanna do a comparison either. We only wanna do a comparison when this function runs and we have choice one selected and choice two selected. If we don't, then nothing's gonna happen inside this function. All right then, so now we need to do the check. 
is choice one equal to choice two? Or more specifically, is the source of choice one equal to the source of choice two? So let's do that check inside here. I'm going to say if, and then I'll take choice one and look at the source property. And I'm going to see if it's triple equals to choice two dot source. So if that's the case, if the sources are the same, then we obviously have a match. So we'll say console.log those cards match. All right. And then after that, we need to call the reset turn function. Because I said, once we've done the comparison, we need to call this function to set choice one to null and choice two to null, and then set the turns to one plus the previous turns. All right. So we've seen this kind of state update before where we use a function to update the state when we use the previous state. Okay. So that's what we're doing right here. So we're calling reset turn after we log this message to the console if choice one source is equal to choice two source. All right then, so let's do an else statement. And in this case, then the choices obviously don't match and we'll log that to the console as well. So console.log and we'll say those cards do not match. And then again, we need to reset the turn. So reset turn like so, all right? So in both cases, we're resetting the turn and we're logging this to the console. So now let's see if this works. So in a browser, what I'm gonna do is click two which don't match first of all. So this one and this one, and we can see those cards do not match. Again, this one and this one, those cards do not match. But now if I click on two that do match, for example, this sword and also this sword, we can see those cards match. So now we're getting a match. And the same for the shields, this one and this one, and it says those cards match. So now we're successfully trying to match two cards together. Next, we need to do something with those cards if they do match.